Welcome to my studio, this is Kung Nguyen. In this video, I would like to show you how to frame a pastel painting using a map. Uh, behind me is the portrait uh, of uh, Victoria, which I have done a while, and now it needs a frame. Um, the frame, if you have uh, uh, some money, then you can go to any frame store and the, our professional is going to make a frame for you then it's going to be the best. But in this case, to save money and to make to frame the frame ourselves, that's why I'm here to show you how I do it, all right? Uh, first, I bought the frame, this one. Let's open it. I bought this one for about $60. The size is uh, 20 inches by 24 inches so this is a frame I, I, I bought uh, today and it comes with a, a piece of glass if you um, the best if you go to competition or uh, sometimes your client uh, they request the museum glass then you have to go to a professional store to order it. Uh, it costs some money for it, okay? But this is just uh, it's a, my personal work. Then I just buy a frame in any store, frame store. I bought this one at the University Art Store in California. I took the mark, okay? Took all the frame and they good to include something for our to hang them later. That's great. But sometimes, again, sometimes the uh, the client uh, they request uh, um, uh, what do you call it? It's a, a special order frame. It's different. It costs a lot of money. I'm gonna save this one. Here. So uh, I took off the positive frame and you see this is the frame with a piece of glass come with it. Alright? So this is great. Make sure I don't have any dust. I'm going to clean the dust uh, before I put the pictures in it. But first, uh, I bought the frame. The painting is here. Uh, the few thing I need is a mat. But I already cut the mat, all right? I bought the frame and the mat, it fit perfectly inside the frame. And I I know this is gonna be something like this, okay? So I'm gonna, how to put the mat, uh, the painting inside the mat, okay? This is the mat. I also need the, uh, the support. Uh, could be anything, could be a piece of foam, could be a, a board. You're gonna place the painting on top of it first. Step by step. I also have a, another window. This window is slightly bigger. Bigger is, I mean, the window is an open space inside. But if I was talking about the side around it, is smaller. So I can put them like this. It's hidden beside, behind my mat. So when I frame them, I increase the space between my painting and the glass. All right, so that's about it. I need this one, uh, the shooting gun, so I can have a uh, frame on the nail behind my uh, frame. Uh, some tape, all the tape, that's all we need. All right, so step by step. First, we need to uh, remove all the stuff here out of the table. I need the table. Uh, I'm gonna remove the frame somewhere else. Take care of the painting first. Then we're gonna put the painting inside the frame. All right. So I already took uh, took off the painting from the board. Uh, but before I frame it, I have to be careful and see any dust around it or not. It looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna put it in there in my table. And uh, double check. I have my uh, my mat right here so I'm gonna put them around her and see how it looks like 
look perfect. Look good. We want this to look very good. You can see that here. All right. So let's try. So that's important to uh, to place your painting. You know, I have to be careful. I don't want to talk and accidentally uh, spit on my painting. So I have to be careful. Uh, to place your painting in the in the um, good composition. All right. So uh, here is the board. This is my support in the back. Uh, I will put the paintings in here. So I just place my painting on the support uh, board and I'm going to put the mat on top of it. Now time for me to take a look, okay? I saw my signature here. I'd like to see my signature a little bit more. So I'm going to move this up a little bit here. Like this. Put this one back. My signature is showing. Everything will be pretty good for now. Great. All right. So my next stop is to tape the painting. So this is the artist tapes right here. It cost you a little bit more money, uh, but it's a good tape. Uh, it's not gonna peel off the paper. Okay, so. I'm going to double tape them, so make sure that it's not going to peel off. Like that. Maybe one more time. So it's secure. The top, I, I like to tape the top. And I also want to tape the bottom just slightly. Uh, but some others they don't like to tape the bottom. They just like to tape the top uh, because sometimes uh, uh, the paper maybe get by the curve. So, but this paper is very good. Uh, the paper I'm using here called Ming Art paper, and they're very heavy. They're very thick. So I'm not gonna be afraid of it. I'm gonna get curvy later on. So take a look at this again. Look very good. Look at that. You can see it, right? So, look beautiful. All right. So I'm happy with it. So the next one is uh, I want to show you this. What is another piece of foam? You see, I cut the window here bigger. It means this side is smaller than the mat. So I'm gonna put it up here. Then I'm gonna put the mat on top of it. So you see, I, I increase the space between the painting and the glass, and you can see the blender. Then in the future, uh, 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 when the dust falling, it's falling the space in here. In the pastel, in the future, it will uh, the pastel will fall off. Okay. Even I spray a little bit of it, but it's still. This is the frame. Make sure they know that's in here, okay? So I use a plastic uh, cleaner, or you can use any glass cleaner to clean the uh, to clean the glass, okay? Before you put your pastel in. And this is the very soft. Uh, at the um, uh, bevel tower, so be careful when you spray things. Just stay away from the painting, okay? Just spray a little bit. This glass is pretty clean actually, but I just want any, not any dust inside of it. So make sure.
first I make the map in. Okay. Then I put in the foam. What I know is I put the pastel on top of it. Okay, so I can just use it for now. Put the one down. Then I'm gonna use this nail shoot in here. more skills in here. Good now, so I turn around, see how it's good. So now you can see. So now you can see the painting will fit perfectly inside the frame. It's not that hard, right? So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you pick up a few tips uh, from me. And I'm looking forward to see you again next time. Uh, give up painting, give up drawing. Bye-bye.